Kimberley is a place where you come for a holiday and never want to leave. And it's not just tourists falling in love with Broome and its surrounds. The annual race round brings back jockeys, trainers and the crowds time after time. We've been in Broome 14 years now. We um, originally came up here with Dad with, um, at the end of the crayfishing season. I'd come up and give Dad a hand with the horses and um, met a few of his owners and small businessmen and local identities of Broome and um, one day decided to um, make a move from Geraldton and um, give it a go with a little electrical business. Um, I've been coming up to Broome um, with my husband Peter for seven years. Um, we've been bringing racehorses up for that long. Um, Peter's been coming up previously before that as a rider. Um, but yeah, this is our seventh season up here with horses. Um, we come up to Broome um, because of the location, um, the weather, the scenery. Pete brings the boat up, gets to go fishing and I um, mean the horses thrive up here. It's a great location to, to train horses at the beach there and yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, I've always, I've always been going to come and I thought I'd better get, get up here while I could still ride them. <laughs> oh, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't get looked after any better here. You know, they really look after you. I mean, you, you've got the beaches, you've got the bush track, you can get on, uh, you can get on, on the race track like three or four times a week. Ideal, you know, and, and they really look after you. Yeah, to come up here, I was talking to mum and dad a lot and um, I've got to admit, I've never been away from home for this long. <laughs> Um, and we are a very close family. Obviously, I work for Dad as well. I was sort of a bit like, oh, what would you do, Dad? You know, because I'd write a lot of work for him and he's like, just go, he just supported me and just said, just do it. Um, everyone said I'm obviously with a fantastic stable. I get looked after amazing up here and uh, no regrets. I'm so glad I did it. Through my career, I've had my ups and downs. Um, at the time when I was starting to come up here, to be honest with you, I was just starting to fly, like, compared to where I was coming out of my apprenticeship. I was you know, sort of getting a winner a week and that's what my aim was for the year. So I was sort of thinking, oh, I hope I've made the right move. But as I say, once I'm here and once I started race riding here and yeah, love every moment of it and really glad that I did it. Uh, I've been coming to Broome now for six years. Uh, you like to get up here because of the, you know, the climate, the sun, the warmth, get out of the cold and enjoy a bit of sunshine. It's been a, oh, been progressively getting better each year for us and the horses are getting better and the climate's still the same. The Broome racing season is a, a really important week for Broome. It's one of the busiest of the year uh, for the community and uh, also for tourism. I mean there's a lot of people come from, from Perth. Myself, I came up yesterday. It's good for flights, the hotels, restaurants are all busy so it, it's a great week and an important one for Broome community and tourism. Yeah, with a group of trainers that head up here, we've a fair bit of camaraderie amongst all of us. You know, competitive on race days and people have their stouches and, <laughs> you know, talk rudely and abruptly to one another. But at the end of the day, it's one of the unique places, Broome, that at the end of the day, the club put on a few beers for everyone. You go back there, you watch the replays and it'd be nothing for eight or ten trainers to be standing there shoulder to shoulder watching the replays of their horses and discussing with their, you know, colleagues that are standing there with them. You know, it's one of those unique places. You don't, you would be battled to get that anywhere else in Australia. I don't, at this stage, I can't really imagine ourselves not calling Broome home, but never say never. Like naturally, there's a lot of uh, people that come to Broome and fall in love with it. But at, once the kids get to a certain age and schooling changes, then um, you know, obviously our opinion will change. But until then, we'll just keep trying to do, do what we're doing and um, basically enjoy life for what it is.